Texas police are investigating a sexual assault on campus. They sent out an alert saying it took place at a campus dorm off Central Avenue. WRG Stacy Jacobson is at the U of M campus now and Stacy, what do you know? Well, Greg, the alert says the female victim knew the man who assaulted her. It also says that this happened at the Carpenter Complex on campus. Police so far are not giving us any more details than that, but still local advocates say that's enough to prove to them that there's progress here on campus. They were current guys when we when we took their pictures. Deborah Club with the Memphis Area Women's Council remembers when they got these shots of the Grizzlies supporting the No More campaign. Memphis says no more and the University of Memphis says no more also and we're all trying to work together to make people aware of these situations where we're not going to blame the victim. She says the campaign directly applies to this latest incident at U of M. University officials put out this warning this morning, saying police were investigating an overnight sexual assault complaint at a campus dorm. They say the woman knew the man who assaulted her. Someone who's been hurt has spoken up, which is a big part of what's been um, the effort the last several years around campuses. U of M student Ginny Britt can relate. She and others we spoke with support the woman who called police. Every time I go out, I know that guys will like cat call me and everything. And it's good that girls are reporting it because they need to get justice for what happened to them. Because it's not the school that is acting. You know, it's a single person who is messing up. And calling that person out is a good thing. What's more, Club says it's also important not to blame victims, which can be tempting in a college setting. What I'm wearing or whether I'm drunk has nothing to do with whether I should or should not get raped. I should never get raped. That's up to the people around me, including the men in the room, to not do what they know they should not be doing. She says now it's up to campus police to make sure they conduct a fair and compassionate investigation and hold the perpetrator accountable. And again, we still have not yet heard back from campus police to try to find out more about this investigation. As soon as we do, we'll let you know. We're live in the U of M area. Stacy Jacobson, WREG News Channel 3. All right, thank you, Stacy. A South Haven.